This example will show you how to find probabilities. The experiment is suppose you roll two dice. What is the sample space? As with the other examples, you need to come up with a sample space that is equally likely outcomes. One sample space is to list the sums possible each roll. The sample space would look like SS equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. However, there are more ways to get a sum of 7 than there are to get a sum of 2, so these outcomes are not equally likely. Another thought is to list each outcome, list the possibilities of each roll. So this one we can't do. As an example, you could roll the dice. On the first die, you could get a 1. On the other die, you could get any number between 1 and 6. But let's say it's also a 1. And this outcome would look like 1, 1. Similarly, you could get a 1, 2, a 1, 3, a 1, 4, a 1, 5, or 1, 6. Also, you could get a 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 on the first die instead. Putting all this together, you get the sample space. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, and 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, Sorry, I need a little bit more space here. 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, and 5, 6. And lastly, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3. 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. Notice that a 2, 3 is different from a 3, 2, since the order that you roll the dice is important, and you can tell the difference between these two outcomes. You don't need any of the doubles twice, since these are not distinguishable from each other in either order. This will always be the sample space for rolling two dice. So, part B asks us to find the probability of getting a sum of 5. Let A equal getting a 5, and the ways this can happen is you can get a 4, 1, a 4, 2, sorry, a 3, 2, a 2, 3, and a 1, 4. So the probability of A happening, getting a sum of 5, would be 4 out of 36. If you want to reduce that to 1 out of, five, one out of 9, you can, or you can leave it just like this. B, is, what is the probability of getting a, the first size of 2? We'll call this B. This is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. The probability of B happening, therefore, is equal to 6 out of 36. What is the probability of getting the sum of 7? We'll call this C. 
and the ways to get a, prob a sum of 7 is 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, and 1, 6. The probability of C happening is 6 out of 36. Next, let's look at the probability of getting a sum of 5 and the first side of 2. This is events A and B, which contains the outcome 2, 3. So the probability of A and B happening is 1 out of 36. Now, what is the probability of getting a sum of 5 or the first size of 2? This we can do with the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Because this is the probability of A or B. So the probability of A or B is 4 out of 36 plus 6 out of 36 minus 1 out of 36 which gives us 9 out of 36. What is the probability of getting a sum of 5 and a sum of 7? This would be A and C together Notice that from this involves the events A and C, which has no outcomes in common. So the probability of this happening is 0. What is the probability of getting a sum of 5 or a sum of 7? From part G, these two outcomes are mutually exclusive, so the probability of A or C is the probability of A plus the probability of C, which is equal to 4 out of 36 plus 6 out of 36 or 10 out of 36.